Columbia province, about two hours north of Bangkok for rice tractor drag racing. Further proof the people of Thailand will modify and race anything with wheels on or off-road or in a rice field. These rice tractors have been highly modified. They took a rice field in the middle of nowhere, set up a drag strip, and they are going to war out here. And while they do have this body cladding here to attempt to protect the driver, it does not do much. As you can see, these guys are completely covered in mud. What is going on? Oh man, these guys got a titanium exhaust on theirs. Look at that. The titanium exhaust. So what these guys are doing are installing the engine into the tractor. When they transport them to events, they remove the engine from the tractor. And once they get here, they drop the engine in and get to racing. tractors that they don't have the engine in it i think they keep this is the transmission i guess and then this is where they bolt the engine in and these are a bunch of extra spare wheels for the tractors and then you can see some of the engines over here so basically they have this piece right here where it looks like they take this piece right here and then they just drop it into the tractor, a couple bolts, and it's ready to fire up. Bro, look at them go. Look at that. So right here, boom. That was the finish line. The start line is way back there. I don't know how long the racetrack is, but it's definitely not a quarter mile. If I had to guess, maybe an eighth of a mile. And this is very local, like very redneck style event. There's no tree, there's no ETs, there's no trap speeds. It's just heads up, run what you run with your rice tractor in a rice field. It's basically like no prep street racing for rice tractors, and I think it's absolutely hilarious. take a couple seconds to thank NordVPN who is today's video sponsor. They're offering you guys a very exclusive deal. Just go to nordvpn.com slash cbmedia or use my coupon code which is cbmedia at checkout. You're going to get a massive discount off your two-year plan plus an additional month for free and a very special gift. The reason NordVPN has sponsored so many videos on this channel is it's a product and a service that I genuinely love. Seriously, I use NordVPN on a daily basis just to keep myself safe on the internet and allow me to access certain websites that I couldn't when I'm traveling internationally. If you plan on traveling, you need a VPN, point blank period. And NordVPN is the one that I've been using for years and I'm extremely happy with their product and their service. Even if you don't plan on traveling, if you use the internet on a daily basis, you should really be concerned about your general internet safety and protecting your data. And NordVPN now has built-in malware blocker. Get your exclusive NordVPN deal with a 30-day money-back guarantee at nordvpn.com slash cbmedia or use my coupon code, which is cbmedia at checkout. And once again, you'll get a massive discount off that two-year plan, an additional month for free, and a special gift. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to the tractor race. So after looking at these things closer, I think I figured out how they work. Let me show you. The tractor has these two rails and the engine is dropped onto these two rails and mounted with four bolts. And then the engine has this pulley over here. This contraption also has a pulley attached to it. And then there's a pulley belt 
attaching the engine to this contraption. When the pulley on the engine spins, it causes this to spin, which this is attached to the axle, which is attached to the wheel. And that is how these things operate. I think, I think that's how they operate. Again, I don't know shit about tractors or farming rights. So, Look at that square to pick up truck. Man, that thing has seen better days, but it's still running the streets of Thailand. If you've seen the Top Gear episode where they tried to destroy a Hilux, you'll understand how tough these trucks are. And this is just further proof of that. And the level of sweat coming from my body is absolutely ridiculous. The heat and humidity here in Thailand this time of year is so incredibly brutal. If you appreciate me being out here going through this to bring you this type of content, please make sure that you're subscribed to the CB Media YouTube channel and turn post notifications on. I'm trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and I would appreciate your support. Thanks. Bruh, I'm legit about to go for a swim in this stuff. It is, uh... It is that hot out here. Holy shit. Uh, I think these guys are about to put their tractor into the rice field. Let's go look. right here is the guy that just left that tent one lap through the rice field and look how much mud is covering that guy I'm not gonna lie I kind of want to try it myself nice somebody brought out their Kawasaki KR150 if you watch my two-stroke small CC NGO motorbike videos You'll recognize these bikes. These are legends in the motorbike racing industry here in Thailand. Look, another KR150. That's what's great about these events. You come out to see a very specific thing like tractor racing, and you end up seeing a bunch of other very cool and interesting vehicles. Ones that people just came here on to spectate the event that you're at. Like that Toyota pickup truck we saw earlier. That thing is just totally insane. You would never see that on the interstates of the US. So my friend just told me these are the fastest tractors on the property today. And you can tell, especially that first 60 foot, that first 300 foot, these things come out of the hole actually pretty hard. They look genuinely quick.
And that is another episode of People Racing Strange and Unusual Things here in the country of Thailand. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next YouTube video. Peace.